So how did I land my first $1,500 freelance web design client? That is what I'm going to be covering in this video, how I started, uh, how I landed this client, how I didn't have any real experience landing these types of clients before, uh, how I got him in through the door, and then also what exactly I sold him. So let's dive in. So when I first started as a web designer, I really didn't know what to do. I didn't even really know much about the craft. I watched a bunch of YouTube videos and I educated myself a lot on WordPress. And that was my development platform of choice. I really had no experiences under my belt as far as like building websites. So the first thing that I did was I just built out a bunch of practice websites. I think I built like a, a landscaping site. Uh, I built like a some other like contracting site just for myself, just so I can practice it. And that's what I recommend you guys do as well, which is you need to build up a portfolio. So when I first closed that client for 1500, he's already seen my other websites. Okay. He has already seen my past work. He's seen what I can do. And so it was pretty easy for me to actually go in and explain to him exactly what I'm going to build and then sell him on that. And you need, even if you don't have additional clients, you need to just build a bunch of websites and build up a portfolio. So that way you have something to show so that when you do want to charge money, you can show them, Hey, this is what I can do. Okay. Now my first website client that I got was only $150. Okay. It was somebody that I actually worked with at my, at my job. I was making like, like minimum wage or something super low. And there was a guy, he had a photography business and he said, Hey man, I just need a website. I need something up to showcase my work. And I said, okay, no problem. We'll build you something. And I charged 150 bucks and just built him a very simple website. And then I ended up adding that to my portfolio. He then referred me someone else. And then I charged $400 again, nothing special, nothing crazy, nothing insane, but it was still, it was still money coming in. And that's what I would recommend to you guys as well is you need to build the momentum of your website journey. So even if you can charge 150 bucks for something super simple, something small, just get that sale under your belt. If you're just getting started, you need to just have experience of working with clients. Okay. So build out your portfolio on the back end. So you have something to show where you can showcase your skills and then just start charging clients. Even if it's below your pay grade, just start getting clients under your belt. And so first client was $150. Second client was $400, which was a referral from that first client. And so, I mean, still super cheap. I wasn't, you know, that excited about it, but nonetheless, I knew I was on the right track and that's what I re recommend for you guys as well. Then from there, I actually made a post on Craigslist and this is uh, now before when you use Craigslist, it was it was free. Anybody could make a post and I just made a post. Hey, doing web design. I mentioned that it's cheap and that I mentioned that I'm starting off and that I just wanted to simply add it to my portfolio. And when I did this, I got a bunch of responses and a ton of them wanted a free website. But one of those people that ended up reaching out to me was uh, this guy that had this idea for like an e-commerce website. He was selling a few things online and he needed like a payment processor. Now, one thing that I want to note is that I have at this point never built any kind of e-commerce website. I didn't even know how to link up uh, a payment processor, right? And so what I ended up doing was I said, sure, let me take a deeper look. And I just, you know, went on YouTube and just looked all this stuff up, went on Google, looked all this up, and I ended up figuring out how to do it. And I realized that it wasn't too difficult, which was the main lesson here is that even if someone asks for something crazy, um, you can always look it up and then to learn how to do it. Right. And then the cool thing about this was that it was completely risk free uh, for him because I told them, Hey, if you don't like what I do, I'll give you a full refund. And that's my recommendation to anyone that's just starting off is just give them a killer offer that they just can't say no to. And mine was always super simple. It was always like, Hey, I'm going to build you this homepage uh, after about a week or after about two weeks. And if you like it, great, we'll continue building the rest of the website. But if you don't like it, then what I'll do is give you a full refund on the first half of your payment. So I usually charge um, half up front and then half upon completion, or at least I did back then. And he paid the 750. Um, and then I built him a homepage, he was happy with it. And then it took me about, you know, an, an additional two weeks, I think to build 
uh, the rest of the site, which at the time was a lot of money to me uh, because this was my first kind of higher ticket um, item or kind of higher ticket website that I sold. Now, another thing that I want to mention about this is when we were talking and when he reached out to me on Craigslist, uh, he called me, I came in and we just kind of had a face to face meeting. He had an office already somewhere else. And so we chatted a bit about the website and we talked about exactly what he wants. And he asked me how much I charge. Now, as you know, from my story, I last time my second website, I charged 400. And so this one, I wanted to, to double again and kind of push the limit a bit. And I wanted to charge 800. And again, this is a basic WordPress website where I just imported a theme and then I just made it super custom to him. I used his content, um, all of that. So it was basically just connecting like a WordPress theme to WordPress, installing it, you know, setting it up on his domain, all that, all that good stuff. And I wanted to charge 800, but what he told me, he asked me how much I charge. And I, I remember at that point I had just read a negotiation book. Um, I was super into, into reading and I was reading like a, a book a week. I think at that point, I think that year I read like 54 books. So I had just finished a negotiation book and something that it said that really helped me was it mentioned, Hey, let the person on the other side, give you an offer first. And that's something I recommend to you as well, which is let them give you a price first. And what he pulled out is he said, well, I had this quote from this other developer or designer, he charged me $1,800. And then I said, okay, that's, that's okay. Let me see exactly what he's going to do for you. So I reviewed the proposal. And again, it was just a simple WordPress website. And then I told him, okay, no problem. If we can do this right now, we could do it for 1500 and it would just be half upfront. And so from there, he's already seen my portfolio. He's seen my other websites and he's seen what I can do, even though I didn't have his particular project. Uh, that he wanted in my portfolio. He still trusted me because I told him, hey, it's gonna take you know, a week and a half. It's gonna take one to two weeks for me to get the homepage for you. And if you don't like it, I'll just refund you that 750 that you paid me and we can go our separate ways. You can go with this company. So I just made it very, very risk-free and that would be my suggestion for you as well. Make it as risk-free as possible so that way they can get started with you and then just blow them out of the water um, and then even if they do want changes, just go in and just tweak it and you can charge more than you previously wanted as a freelancer. And then from there, I showed him the homepage. He ended up liking it after about two weeks and then I, I finished the rest of the site. He made the second payment and that is how I got my first freelance client. And then of course I charged him for website hosting. And I think at the time I was doing it for a um, hundred dollars a month. And so he was my client for long after that. And all of this was uh, all from a free Craigslist post, which you can, you can still go on Craigslist and still make, I think it's a, it's a few dollars to make a post. So that is how I landed my first $1,500 website design client plus hosting. Of course, later on, I hope you found this useful. I hope you found some actionable nuggets there that you can also take and implement in your own web design business.